in this video I'm gonna show you how I did this look. So I've kind of always wanted to do um, like a mother nature whatever type of look because like you know the planet earth is like our home. So like let's respect that and all that stuff. But also a couple months ago my friend Todd who is an amazing artist who has done super cute little pixel drawings of some looks that I've done hit me up and was like hey um what if we basically did a look that was specific to be turned into a pixel drawing that would go with the two others that happened. So there's one that's an alien and the other one's a mermaid. What if we did a third one that was like wind or earth or something like that to go with it and it would turn into a you know, little piece. So I obviously accepted and then um, as I do, I forgot about it for months and you know, life stuff. But then hey, I finally got an idea for what to do for a look and here we are. So I went for a kind of earth fairy mother nature type of deal and I wanted to basically be covered in plants and also be a little bit turning into a plant. So it's like weeds and stuff turn into veins and things and the stuff. I also really approached it with color palette in mind. The other looks, the first one is purple and blue and then the mermaid look is like blues and greens. So I wanted to pull green out from that. Each one has greens and blues and this one is going to turn into green and then we're going to introduce red tones and stuff. And then we also brought blue in because like water which is totally not a resource that everybody needs to live so it's perfect so like let's do a look that is representing our planet before it dies with us on it so yeah let's get into this mother nature look i have three million bobby pins in my hair and i don't want to think about the possible bugs that could be there but it's cool because I had to wash my hair anyway, so. All right, so I'm starting off with foundation already applied just to keep this moving. And I'm gonna go ahead and start off this eye. I'm using Puppy, which is a bright orange eyeliner by ColourPop. And I'm using this in the kind of two thirds of my eye. And then I'm completing that with Punch, which is a yellow towards the inner corner. To add some extra depth, I took the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Rust and put this on the outer corner just to create a nice little ombre situation. Then I'm using one of the NYX Primal Colors. This is the orange shade. And I'm using this to lay out a kind of vibrant orangey transition shade for this exaggerated eye. Now I'm going in with an orangey red shadow just to continue that depth and this shape. I'm also blending this onto the lower lash line and creating the most depth in the outer corner. I'm winging up pretty severely going through my brow kind of. I wanted it to go up and really meet my temple just to create this exaggerated kind of fairy-esque shape. Now I'm using a kind of brick shadow and I'm using this to create the actual most depth and really carve out this eye shape. I'm using this where I want the deepest part of my crease to be and I'm also going to use this to line my eye and wing that out to meet it and really pull the eye upwards and um, you know just continue this shape. And throughout the process, I'm going in with that same fluffy brush just to make sure that everything is blending out. Moving on to this lid, I'm starting off with the Pat McGrath Labs Copper 005 Cream and I'm just using a brush to apply this onto the lid. This is beautiful, forever grateful to Ripley like thanks. Then I'm just using my finger to apply a little bit of the wet Copper 005 pigment on top of that. This is to really foil and give you a very vibrant, strong metallic copper. Eye. This is to really bring in that warmth to this eye to counteract with a very cool toned face. So now I'm using Occult by Cadaver Cosmetics, available soon. This is a green duochrome shade and I'm using this to highlight the inner corner and all the things. So now I'm using the green primal colors by NYX and I'm going to kind of stipple this all over the face but mostly in the contour areas to start to bring in this green. I'm also going to pull it down the neck to start off the vines situation. Now I'm using Midori by Sugar Pill and kind of just doing the same thing and I'm doing this with a few different greens just to use different shades and colors to bring in this green tone to the all over face. To really create depth I'm using 
the olive green shade from the Sleek Acid palette. And you know, I'm just contouring the face, bringing in green and the stuff. I know from previous experience and use that if you put the blue primal color shade on top of the other ones that I have that it really creates a nice shadowy depth there. So I did that in the deepest part of my contour. And then to make sure that I had actual tones that was similar to a shadow rather than just bright vivid colors, I used the NYX Lush and Taupe just to really carve out those areas. Now I'm highlighting the entire face using Occult, which is that same green duochrome highlighter situation and you know, just make you glow. Now I'm using a green liquid lipstick and just wiggling the wand kind of all over to create these veins and these vines and these weeds growing up from the neck into the face. I wanted to create and keep most of them in the neck to kind of build up a collar that grew out up onto the face. So that's what I did. I just drew veins and vines as if I was drawing weeds and like a tree and just squiggly lines and I wasn't too specific about it. Then I used this blue teal Snazaroo water activated face paint and a little fan brush and I just splattered that all over my face but primarily on the cheekbones and kind of creeping out from the contour areas. I then used Beauty Bakery's Lip Whip in Fortune Cookie on the lip and then I splattered some more of that face paint on top to bring in some blue. I used some of Occult on the lip just to bring in a little bit of that same green duochrome. Um, I put some of that face paint onto my lashes and then I used a little bit of this NYX pearl pigment, it's a turquoise color, don't remember the name, onto the lip and wow, we're done. Wow, here we are, so informative. So this is the final look. Um, after doing my makeup, I went ahead and used bobby pins and pinned a whole bunch of weeds and little flowers and stuff that I found outside into my hair and like yeah some are getting a little dangly that's cool the dying plants in my hair is just like commentary on um, us killing the world people and then also like the ecosystems and the planet and like us just continuing to do that and then under this current administration making sure that it like really just dies This could also probably be like poison ivy TBH. The planet is all of our own, so like, let's protect it. And also, all of the people on it. Just thought. Do you ever just turn yourself into Mother Nature and then she just weeps, mourning the loss of all of the people on our planet, but also herself? Or is that like just me? Okay, cool, got it. Also, while I was about to complete the flower hair situation, I realized, hey, I could have probably just made a flower crown instead of pinning each little flower into my hair separately. But um, yeah, we come in peace. It's me, an earth fairy witch. <gasps> I should wear my crystals.